We're in West Michigan, we're keeping an eye on the weather as well. There's a chance for severe storms this evening and afternoon. Scott is tracking the weather for us now. Scott? Well, that's right, Emily and Sue. We are continuing to track the possibility of some severe storms to come our way as we go through the afternoon and evening hours. We did have a brief splash of precipitation this morning that caused a delay also in the Meyer LPGA Classic for a little bit up in Belmont this morning. You'd see that initial round has fallen apart to the southeast. We have some sunshine filtering in behind it, and you can also see our next round of showers and storms beginning to take shape through Minnesota and Wisconsin in association again with the cold front. Here's how things play out on future cast. Getting into this afternoon, a couple of isolated showers further north toward Fremont and Ludington. It looks like those storms are likely to come together around 4 o'clock this afternoon as you approach South Haven, Benton Harbor, Cal Mizzou points along I-94 and there could be some spots that receive over an inch of rain in association with these storms as they are likely to train over the same region for quite a long time as you can see pausing the clock here at 5 p.m. a continuation of some of those strong storms. Large hail damaging winds certainly a possibility as these come together. As we pause the clock here at 7 you can see that Grand Rapids points to the northwest are still dry. However, we will start to filter in some more scattered storms through tonight. So a very unsettled atmosphere is currently present with all of the heat and humidity. So that's going to serve us uh, with a chance of some of those storms even into the early morning hours of Friday. It looks like most of the day tomorrow should be quiet. We'll have the wind filtering in from the north. You can see that there will be another flare up of some storms, but those are likely to happen in the eastern half of the state as we enjoy some quieter conditions. There's a look at how much precipitation could fall as you move south of I-96. A half inch to an inch is going to be common. A good soaking rain. Now, even though it the latest model data shows a lot of those storms dodging Grand Rapids to the south. There is still the potential in the atmosphere to serve us some of those stronger storms as well. A category two out of five, a slight risk of severe weather. As you travel further north, that is a marginal risk in the green area on your screen. So again, make sure to stay with us through the afternoon as we continue to watch things develop in the tracking center. Some warm, humid and breezy weather outside today. Again, timing roughly between 3 p.m. and 9 p.m. in regards to the chance of severe storms. And then a couple of pleasant days should follow as we get into the Father's Day weekend coming up. There's the view in Kalamazoo right now, mostly cloudy skies above. And you can also see here at the Gerald R. Ford International Airport, just a few clouds, a current temperature of 83. The wind streaming through from the west-southwest at 23 miles per hour. Temperatures upper 70s to middle 80s, and it's also rather humid. Dew points have climbed into the middle and upper 60s, courtesy of that strong southwest breeze. If you're headed to Lake Michigan today, you can expect to have that strong wind. Yellow flags are flying, so make sure to use some extra caution along the beach as we are going to have, uh, again, some choppy conditions. Moving forward, even though the next couple of days are going to be very pleasant, you can see that we build in the heat and the humidity. Dew points up around 70 degrees for the start of next week with high temperatures in the 90s for the first time in 2024 here in Grand Rapids. Here's how things look then on the eight-day forecast. Might have to dodge a few showers and storms on Father's Day Sunday. And then all the attention is on the heat next week, 92 on Monday, 93 next Tuesday. Emily and Sue.